If you choose that corn, it's done that way. One track go in, cut it back, now they add one on. The stud would go here, right there on the corner. The dryer would go right in here, and then we screw all together. And then the stud just stay loose like that. That is for the dryer just to run behind. Here, yeah, my friend Bayani here. This is how we make a wall very fast. It's two stud, fast and straight. Let's put the track up, a track down, and now I'm just gonna cut the studs, set it up the studs. Very much the way to go, straight and fast. Let's work. Yeah, guys, let's do this is two stud, straight, nice and fast. So just use the snipper to cut them whenever I need to. The rest is just put it up. First, let's mark it. Once I have the mark, I'm just gonna put them on a spot very much. There you go guys, wall is up, goes fast. When you're doing the stud, this is important to keep the holes on the same position like you guys can see. Put the stud on the same position up, all right? And you see the holes, they are in different positions sometimes. The top part is usually different. This is for the electrical or plumbing, all the stuff that goes, goes on the holes to put a care channel. And this keep the wall straight. Forever, very much. If you don't get any moisture in that thing, this thing doesn't get rotten. It's all the time is straight, they don't bow. If you're gonna start the dry off from that end, you just put the stud facing that way. That way, when you hang the dry off, you screw in this side first, otherwise, the dry off would be not even. Very is going. Bang, bang, bang. Done. Like you see, we have some patch on the walls. All the same way, put the track up, track down. Throw the stud in, and there you go. I use measuring tape, I use a snip, I use the clamp, I use the gun, and a few stuff, like in the laser, right? Laser right there, and the wall goes up. Mm -hmm.